and we're recording, so welcome to this sampler session of AFA, played without the cards, playing with dice, with some special mechanics especially for that, and Ronnie, what's your character's name? I haven't actually come, come up with a character name yet. yet. Oh, and I've just dropped all my cards, that was a great start. Fantastic! Who says, who says this doesn't get done in editing? <laughs> Um, Harold Godwinson. God, let's go. Let's go with a true, true and tested name. Okay, so Harold, you're on the hunt for your missing sister. I forget her name. E something. Igraine. 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 Who went missing in the mine? She's a miner, and she disappeared. You've been told through a friend contact a friend of your friends who's a man called Puwea 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 You way poo Okay, that, that, that's good right. so Puwea Puwea Oh, Puwea Okay <laughs> It's the fidelity of microphones it's, it's, It must be Thank you. Absolutely um, Now uh, and th this man looks. Uh, what do you look like? G give the, give a description your friend would have given of you. Um, well, um, sort of uh, medium build, um, medium height. Sorry, very slim build. Uh, as a miner, he's sort of like, uh, quite muscly but, but wiry. Um, he's sort of like middle aged for his species. Um, and uh, you know they, they they they're called most people, and that's you know, a bit of what they look like as well. Yeah. So, what the description your friend actually gives is is an icarite. They stand out. I can't tell one apart from another, and neither can anyone else. So uh, I told him to wear a red top. <laughs> and that's the description you get. You're told to meet him on the island of Black Market, where he lives. Now, mm. interesting thing about Black Market, you've been given the name of a, a, a place to, to go find him. Interesting thing about Black Market is there is a bylaw there. If you go to any cafe and ask for directions for a service, not necessarily an address, but a service or type of establishment, they have to, by law, give you directions. And if they can't do it, they can actually be kicked off the island or never be allowed to work on the island again. So people who work there know the place like the back of their hand because they have to. Okay. So you turn up on Black Market and it doesn't take long to find the tavern you are told to meet this Icarite in. This Icarite is large mouse-like ears and a shrew-like face like a, a bull shrew. And uh, are you wearing a red top? <laughs> yes, I'll wear a red top. Yeah. I, I, I see the red jacketed, uh, bold shrew. Um, I smirk, uh, somewhere into my drink, and I sort of wave to sort of attract his attention. And at the moment, I'm, I'm at the bar, and I'm trying to get the attention of the barman, but he's, but he's ignoring me, and he's, he's, uh, uh, and he's, he's, he's just keeps walking past, he, he, he's, he's just not interested. I, in I, um, I head over to the bar. Um, uh, barkeep? Um, another, uh, another ale, and, um... You, my, my fine, fine friend. friend. What, what, um, what, what do you, what are you drinking? Oh, I was, I was trying to get an ale actually as well. Uh, um, that'll be two ales, please. Oh, and one of Barley or wheat? Oh, wheat for me. Well, go on, I'll be daring. Give me a barley. Okay, that's a uh, small change, of course, for the barley ale. And uh, a gold coin for the wheat ale. Ah. 
tastes like donkey's piss. Like a good barley ale should. You're never going to get this on YouTube without an adult's only rating on it. Um. <laughs> Not anymore. I can't get anything on YouTube without that. I have been given some advice, though, on, on how to do it. So we shall see. I don't know how they'd feel about uh, moderating a four hour long video, though. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so, uh, yes, your drinks are, are served straight away. Oh, lovely, thank you very much. And uh, thank you for, for buying me this drink. Very kind of you. Yes, um, I sort of motioned over to the, the table where I was sitting. Oh, well, uh, you, you, you want me for something else, do you? I do believe that we... Uh, that I am the person you are here to meet. I was oh, certainly asked to uh, look out for a, a person of your description. You're the one with the sister. Unbelievable. <laughs> yes. Right, okay. Yeah, let's go find the table then. Yep. Literally taken back to where I was sitting. Right, well, right. what's the story then? What can we do? My sister, as a rule, um, she would work the mines, but always, always came home uh, on the holy day. Um, but these past two weeks, there's been no sign of her. Um, the constabulary have been... Um, how shall we say this politely? Uh, useless. Mm. Um, and I would like to. Um, well, I would like to go and see for myself. However, I just I don't know the mines at all. Um, hence my 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 wish to uh, meet someone who has a. A far greater knowledge with oh, uh, yes, yes. the mine. Oh, I've been uh, uh, working at the mine for, for several years now. I'm, I'm, I'm sure we can uh, we can help you out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, should be able to get you in um, if we disguise you and perhaps sneak past the guards. It's, it's not going to be the easiest thing to do, but um, it's possible. Do you, do you know where she was working? Because there's more than one mine. Um, do I know which one she'd be working at? Uh, she has mentioned the name of the mountain to you in the past that she works in, um, and it's the same one as uh, Pooh Shuffler. Pooh, 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 um, she's going to be too, too, too young about that. Yeah, I have no idea. Are I, they words? Yeah. Are they real ones? Who <laughs> um, Stark was an actress slash model who was briefly involved with Prince, Prince Andrew. Andrew. Okay, my care for royal matters outside of RPGs is low. Um, <laughs> yes, it was Mount Ola. Is Mount Ola. Is the mountain where both... Um, who we are and oh, I'm going to have to write that down I haven't got a pen this um, is in chat what you spell it C-A-H-U-E-L-L-A I do, do. Spell, spell it phonetically, phonetically. <laughs> no, it's fine it's fine if you want that many letters in your name I will use it against you later. The more letters you have in the name, the higher status you are within the family. <laughs> I like that detail. I'm <laughs> stealing it. <laughs> Copyrights. 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 There's, 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 there's a bit more phonetically. So, did, did I not mention that? 
uh, anything you contribute during these recorded sessions is property of uh, Rebecca Rose Green and Corporation. <laughs> yeah, um, yes, 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 but um, you, you do understand, understand that, that um, should, should, should your, your game, game actually, actually make, make it to print, print we, we will be expecting a credit for playtesting. <laughs> if I can remember everyone who... We, we are uh, um, you will be given, given you will be given, given uh, uh, updated, updated reminders. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we play tested. tested. You 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 play tested a a, a a a strange online version. That's not quite the same as the card one. It's, it's not the pure version. Beautiful. The, beautiful. the card is really good. The beautiful. The the the, the, the pretty. Anyway. Yes, yes but, 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 but what, what you, you can, can do, do is not only creditors for the... Hello, Jason. Jason. Ah, yeah, that's, that's great okay. paper. Got some. Um, you, 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 you can, can credit us not only for playtesting in general, but also playtesting your first major expansion, the, expansion, the uh, rules alternative uh, for, for people, people who want to use dice, dice rather than cards. cards. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the cards are amazing. <laughs> Um, but I, 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 I have to get on with that. playing the game. You're not actually going to be playtesters, so just saying. <laughs> Where were we? We're just establishing that. that. Right. Right. Anyway, so, so yes, yes. Um, she, she was, was working at the Mount Olamine. Oh, oh yes, no, no, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's, that's where, where we work. Now, what you know is it's going to be very difficult to get him in. What you're going to have to do is forge a name in a ledger. Okay, okay, okay. Well, well, I'm looking at it on, it's going to be hard to do, because I don't want to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so,
uh, for Corey, Corey and, and I'm, I'm happy to be back, back in my time. time. So there's the transport, transport cost to pay, uh, and then uh, we've got to get to the ledgers to find out where she was, and then we've got to get over to mine, and then of course we've got to get you in. Don't worry, I will cover all of that. Don't worry, and as I say, there may very well be a bonus. Mm. Should, Should we succeed in, in, in locating her? her? Um, if you make a bonus, if she's alive, and we, we can get, get her out. out. Well, well, the monitor thinks it's nice. I, 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 that, 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 that is why I am so concerned my sister's well being. Okay. okay. So, so we, we, can, can, uh, we can leave her for Gordian whenever, whenever you're ready. ready. Um, I am ready as soon as I've finished this wonderful uh, trademark barley ale, ale. Um, which, which I won't repeat, repeat what it tastes like, like just in case, case um, uh, you, know, you know, certain people, people watching, watching don't like, like it. Um. <laughs> Is that referring to a YouTube monetization agent? <laughs> You, you may think, think that, that I, I couldn't possibly agree, agree with you. <laughs> Though, Though I, I might. might. Um. <laughs> so you head up to the, the south side docks on Black Market to get yourself a... You're not going to be able to get a river ferry, it's going to have to be a river taxi. You're a little more money, but river ferries follow set routes and ain't none going to go to Fort Guardian. Okay. 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 Um, um, do we need the seas ready to get, get off to get, get off the boat on the island? You've never been there. So we don't know. No, 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 okay. No. You can try some research first if you want. Um, I think it might be wise if I did. Yeah. yeah. Especially, uh, I want to make, make it successful, successful as possible. possible. I want a chance, chance of um, grabbing this cash. cash off of do you and the bonus. bonus? in terms of research you would ask where you would probably well, if, if we're if, 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 if my crew were on the island, island um on, on a break, break uh on a downtime, downtime then perhaps if, if i could, could maybe with someone, someone i know who's been in mind for a long time or perhaps friends supervisor yeah, yeah friends supervisor for a woman yeah each crew has a foreman yeah friends supervisor for a woman yeah each crew has a foreman so your your best bet would be your foreman what's yeah, your yeah, I'll name Foreman's name is Mirabel. Mirabel is a Tan Mirabel. Uh, so she kind of looks a lot like a tiger. Uh, she has you know, big saber teeth and she's incredibly strong and agile. Um, when she's in the mine, she kind of ends up looking a bit like a panther, but her natural colouring is that of a tiger. Okay. And you've probably only seen her in daylight a few times, actually. Um, but you do know where to find her. And you find her in a cafe, also on Black Market, conveniently enough, as your crew all comes from Black Market. Mm -hmm. um, so you you head into this cafe, and it's kind of it's very sort of bourgeois and chintzy and sort of. You know, red velvet and a flower pattern paper on the walls and stuff. And uh, and sure enough, you know, she stands out a mile. You know, she's eight foot tall, furry tiger standing on her hind legs. You, you know, she is immediately obvious wherever she is. Even mm -hmm. in city, you know, there are other cat folk in the city, but. Well, let me put it this way. There's a cat folk there. It's probably Mirabelle. Okay. Right. right. Okay. okay. So, so I'll, I'll sort of like wander in and be like, oh, this, this is posh. posh. Uh, this is a place like this before. And I'll walk over to Mirabelle. Mirabelle, uh, I, need I need a quick, quick word. word. Yes, Kueya. Uh, and I'm looking up. <laughs> and it's <laughs> like... Uh, well, I, need, I need to. I need to. Um, I need to get to the uh, to, uh, to uh, Fort Guardian. Um, I, don't I don't know anything about it. it. Well, if, if I, I, I want need to just get, get some records, records. Where, 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 where would I go? Records. Yeah, yeah there's, 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 there's a, a friend, friend in the um, 
He's trying, trying to look for his sister. sister. She, she was at the mine. But I, I need, need to know, know what ship she's she on. What, what crew? Oh. Well. I suppose. I have to register the crew for the next ship. I must go there in a... Well. Tomorrow, actually. The shift starts in two days, as you know. Oh, oh yes, 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 I'm ready to go. go. So, if you're all signing on again, you said you were, I'll be going there to put your name on. Oh, could, 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 could you be perhaps tag on with you? I'm, I'm sure, sure we I'm, I'm sure, sure we, we could, could uh, we, we, we could. could Fund the, uh, the, 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 the taxi, taxi fare. fare. Referring. I would not mind if you paid my taxi. That's, that's great. great. That's, 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 that's good. good. You're not going to do anything there that might get me in trouble. Oh, oh certainly, certainly not. not. We wouldn't do that. that. I mean, you have been working for, for a few years, years now, you know, you know me. We wouldn't, wouldn't do anything dishonest. True. We're just trying to find this guy's sister. sister. Let's say he's, he's a friend. friend. Wow. Well, a friend. 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 But uh, he seems fairly... Mm, he seems, he seems, he seems honest. honest. On the next shift, then, are you not going to come with the crew? You're going to... Explore the map. Uh, well, no, I, I don't, don't know. know. I, mean, I, I she was coming, coming back to the mine, and uh, we would we, say, 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 say which shift she's on, uh, which shift she's on, and take him up to the mine, and then he could um, he could he could up to the mine. He could do it. Yeah, he could do something there. there. Does he, that mean you're going to try to get him past the guard? Wow, he, he might, might actually sign on to do some work, work for us. So you want to add him to the register for the crew? It, it might, might be an idea, idea to get, get him into uh, look for his sister. Who's going to have to work two people down for a time? But he's, he's willing to pay us as well. well. So, if the crew would come in below quota, that could harm my chance of promotion. You see, if we take 14 people, but do the work of 12, my supervisor is not going to be happy. I could cover that if it was worth my trouble. I'm, I'm sure, sure it would be worth your trouble. trouble. Um, well, how, how much would you be looking for? Bloody soot never gets out the fair, you know. It's, it's very, very dusty, dusty apparently. apparently. We say two hundred crowns. Two hundred crowns. I, I don't, don't have to give him up two hundred crowns. Um, um, about hundred each. Yes, yes hundred each. each. Like, I, I, he, he probably, probably do, do that, that certainly. Um, and, and he, he has, has mentioned both. Good. Especially, Especially if she's alive. alive. Workable. I'll add your friend onto the list tomorrow. What was its name? Oh, I can't remember. Sorry, sorry everyone. Well, Harold Godwinson. Harold Godwinson. Uh, yeah. Tell me, this Harold, what species is he? He's, he's a human, human. Um, a little, little bit formy actually. actually. I, think, I think he's, he's a, a farmer. farmer. I can't stand the smell of them. We will soon lose that in mind. mind. True. Sadly, in this city, you can't eat them. I don't, I don't know, know if I've gone to you, you haven't seen, seen him. him. Very well. I will add him to the team tomorrow. 
do you still need to come to Fort Guardian? Um, well, well, if you're going to add his name to the register, then, then, uh, then uh, no, 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 I've got the money for the taxi, don't you? I'll be here. Or should we? 20 minutes. Okay, here's the money for the taxi. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, the question is can you get back, collect the cash off Harold, and return inside 20 minutes? I think that's going to be a speed test. Speed test? test. Yes. So, uh, roll three dice, add your speed in dice. Speed, okay. So that is uh, 10 to 12. That's a success because I got seven. Um, so yes, you return back in time for um, uh, okay. to hand over the money, or what? Well, presumably, get the money off of Harold. I, I imagine is not going to object. Go on, he's get some. Up front, so. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm going to rush, rush back, back to him, and, and I, I might, might even say to him. him no, 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 no. It's going to be 50-50. We're going to have to run a taxi there, and, uh, and uh, she won't do it for, 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 for anything less than the 250. This is going to get you into the mine. Actually, into the mine yourself. You can actually physically look for her. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Okay. Right, okay. I'm going to run back. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pop the rest. 350 crowns, thank you. Oh, no, sorry, 220, wasn't it? Yes, 220. 220 crowns. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a pretty nice boat. Uh, I don't think you know who's better. I think you know who's better. Well, I don't suppose he's going to do any mining. So it doesn't really matter if he's any good. She's good at digging. Um, as long as he doesn't smell too human-y. Well, hmm. Things smell a bit. And with that, she's clearly no longer interested in talking to you. And <laughs> you okay. Mm -hmm. So... The only thing you have to do is turn up in two days' time for the boat taking you to the mine. The question is, is there anything else you want to do before you set off? Um, I'm, I'm just, just going to ask, ask, I'm just going to quiz her with his sister and uh, just trying to do a bit of a description from him. Uh, um, she's raven-haired, long, raven-haired, or... She, she may be well of she she, she, she had been, been told, told to um, cut, cut it short, short so um, for working, working in the mine so it might be a lot shorter now but um, very, very flaming red, red hair uh, emerald green eyes, eyes uh, pale skin although possibly soot covered, soot -covered. Um, well, we definitely have skin working in the mine stop forcing that we've finished she's quite tall um, slender, slender I, I think, think would, would be the word. Um, can't, can't see cannibals looking, looking, looking at her as more of a sort of pair of teeth. But, um, yes, pretty good at drinking, it's not working at night. Um, 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 she, 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 she probably does enjoy a, a, a glass or two of, um, you know, good, 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 good hearty ale. 
I can't, I can't actually, actually clean, clean how big, big the glass, glass is, but it, it, probably a glass, glass or two of whatever size. Whatever size. <laughs> um, uh, and I'll also, also try and give you how, how a bit of background of the more you behave, what he's going to be doing. doing. So I was so saying, you will have, have to do some mining. Because there we're going to put you on the, on the, on the, on the ship, ship so you can actually get, get into the mine. So you're going to be actually on the crew. And, and, uh, and, and you'll be able to look around the mine where you're working, working. And also you'll be able, able to um, uh, so actually spare time. time. I've just realised, of course, the one bit of information you didn't get is what, uh, what shift the sister was on because you're not going to Fort Guardian anymore. Ooh, you're, you're right, right, you didn't. I forgot about that. Oops. Okay, how do you want to handle that? Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, I'm going to try and meet, meet up with a mirror at the docks before she gets on the taxi to go to uh, Fort Guardian. So you're both waiting for her at the, the South Black Market docks, waiting for her to show up? Yeah, um, um, if, if it's, it's really early... Yeah. Question is, do you have your weapons with you? And armor and shield and um, probably, probably not armor. armor. I mean, I don't got any weapons. I can, I can, I can probably, probably get away with calling my axe, my my, my, my attempt attempt to mining, mining tool. tool. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll play, play the ignorant, ignorant farmer, farmer card. card. I brought, brought this, this to hack, hack at the wall. wall. Get, get, get stuff. Um, mm. ching, 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 ching. I suppose the, the, the guards at the port, port, port uh, the dogs, corner. I have to carry weapons in Moraine. Yeah, you're right, it's, 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 it's okay. okay, it's not it's used, it's not friend, friend one. No. They've got open carry doors in. Pretty much. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take, take the shorts with me. Okay. You're not allowed to use them. <laughs> You're allowed <laughs> to carry them. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Apologies. <coughs> so, uh, yes, you wait at the South Black Market docks. And sure enough, you see Mirabelle heading uh, out uh, in, into the docks and, and you, you sort of catch up to her as she's looking to decide which river tank mm -hmm. she's going to take. That's oh, a uh, big woman. woman. Yes, she is. Don't, Don't upset her. her. You must be Haskell. No, Harold. Sorry. Hi, I am my lady. Handwriting can be tricky. The flaws make it difficult to write neatly. Yes, yes I, I can, can see how um, they, they might interfere with, with the delicate, delicate handling. handling. Yeah, uh, we forgot all the information yesterday. Uh, uh, Harold, 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 no, I was, was going to say, say that. that. Eloise, Eloise, Eloise. Eloise. Look at Harold. Agreed, Agreed, sorry. Agreed. Agreed. And then look at Goblin's issue. Uh, yes. Agreed. Agreed. What if you just turn around and bend slightly? What? what? Turn around and lean forward just a little. Reluctantly do so. Okay, she rests the paper on your back and you feel the pen pressing hard against you as she writes Egret God Win Sun Human, I presume. Last, Last time, time I checked. checked. Your sister I'm referring to, not yourself. I can smell what you are. <laughs> yes, yes, she is human. human. I know breeding doesn't seem to work, but you can never tell what people will marry in this city. 
Furthest thing from my mind. Very well, Egret Godwinson's brother. And what are you going to give me for this information? I'm sure it's not four weeks' hard work. Free, free rice? rice? Free? free? Yeah. You might be surprised to learn this, Harold Godwinson. But my species are carnivores. Course nice, nice with a bit of meat. I understand you don't like your offspring eaten. I don't think there is a foodstuff you can provide me with. But, but I, I could, could provide, provide it to your, your fellow, fellow workers, workers at the mine. mine. This, this would, would lower, lower the mine's, mine's costs. costs. That's and if, if a house oak. Yes. yes. But, but if, if you, you are, are seen, seen to be the, the person responsible, responsible it, it may ingratiate, ingratiate you with, with house, house oak, oak, and you, and you may, may benefit from, from it. Ooh, that promotion might be a bit more. more. How much rice? How many tons? How many, How many people, people do you have, you have working, working in the mines? mines? All, All shifts. shifts. Fifty, sixty thousand. Suddenly, Suddenly calculating, calculating that, that I probably have, have just, just enough rice if I give them, them everything, everything to last them for about, about two, two days. days. Um. <sighs> Yes, yes, that's do, do, I, 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 I we could, could easily, easily give, give one, one meal, meal a day, day for, a, for year. a year. Free of charge. charge. Courtesy, Courtesy of, of my, my family, family who, I'm who I'm sure would be more than, than grateful for the return, return of my, my beloved sister. sister. If you can get the rights to Fort Guardian, before I'm off the island, I will be there eight hours. Then I will get you your shift details for Egret Godwinson. Then I must, must head, head homeward, homeward at, at this very, very moment. moment. Mirabel looks to you, Kuea says, I would have taken a hundred crowns. I, 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 I did, didn't give you. Only, <laughs> 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 you better have that right, right. but he's giving her money. Um, because, because I can be pretty, pretty sure, sure of giving her, her rice, rice. I, can't I can't actually at this point give her a hundred crowns. Um... <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think, think she'd, she'd take, take me up on it. Her hand was really good, but it's all dipped in blood. Yes, yes I, I felt, felt the scratches. scratches. I, I, I need, need to talk, talk with my parents, parents and, and um, throw, throw myself in their mercy, mercy and uh, explain, explain to them why, why this is an exceptionally good, good deal. deal. And, and why, why we're, we're not, not actually, actually going, going to be, be destitute because of it. I mean, maybe, maybe sometime. sometime. Right, right, um... um. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got no hope of getting that much rice. No, no I, I know. know. <laughs> I, I know. know. I was, I was even the minute she said 50,000, I'm like, I've got, we've, we've got, got enough, enough rice, rice in that farm, farm for like, like a day. day. <laughs> if... Okay. If. <laughs> you would never remove that, that much. <laughs> ah. 
What's she going to do as she tosses 20 crowns to the river taxi and says, Ford Guardian? Um, my lady. My lady. My lady. Wait. One moment, taxi driver. This I have had a thought. thought. Minor, I understand, it seems to want to put the bill up. Yes. Um. um Harold Godwinson. The, the truth, truth is, I, 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 I do, do not, not know if I can, can get. get that, that much, much right given the, the time, time allowed. allowed. Um, um, I am, I am therefore, therefore willing, willing to give, give you for your, your time and your worry and your, and your expertise, expertise the, the sum, sum of 150 crowns. crowns. He, he lose the rice. Give her that. Um, 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 yeah, yeah um, I'm, I'm now officially, officially skinned. skinned. Um, um, thank you, I, I, driver. Here's an extra crown for the delay. I, I had um, um, If you could cast off before he speaks again. <laughs> <laughs> See, it would be easy. It's just the first time around. Right. Right. He didn't even lose his voice, did I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. She, 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 I, I, I've, I've never, never seen, seen that. No, 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 this, this is my only true, no, 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 that would, that would be bad, bad if, uh, if you hadn't got that, that right voice for her. <sighs> yes, I, 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 in, in all honesty, honesty, I think my entire farm, my entire, my entire family's, family's farm, farm could have fed you people for about a day, day and a half. half. Well, well, this is a big operation. Several lines up there. Yes, I am. Some underestimated the amount of people. By, 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 by a thousand fold. fold. Um, I'm thinking 50, 50 60, 60 people, people in my mind, not 50, 50 60, 60 thousand. Um, slight, slight, slight miscalculation. Now you know why a dragon made it her home. Out of all the realities. That she could have flown to. Yep. yep. And, and again, the rule just, just continues, continues to drag, drag on. Um. Well, you better get your stuff ready if you're going to catch this boat tomorrow and go to the morning. Yep. Yep. Okay. So the question then becomes, as you uh, get the boat from the North Black Market Dock to take you over to the mine at Mount Ola. I think I've got the right end. Oh no, it would be the South. My bad. Um, will you be carrying your weapons with you that day? Uh, are, are you allowed to you you weapons, weapons at the mine? mine? Mm, no, you, you've got guards who are armed, and lots of them. You actually get strip searched before you can return. And um, you, when you enter, you basically take your clothes off and put the mining clothes on. Um, so you could, you could, you could turn up with weapons. Yeah, Whether yeah, no, no. you could actually sneak them into the mine would be mm -hmm. some skill test or other. Uh, well, well, presumably, presumably we, we would need weapons in the mine ring anyway. Yeah, you, you get your pickaxe. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I, th I think you would raise eyebrows and possibly questions is the thing. Yeah, yes. Okay, that, get an so, so, I think I probably will, will have my uh, short with me as usual, and I'll leave that. that. Yeah, yeah, at, at the, the entrance, entrance we'll remove my rest of my clothes and clothes. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I mean to, be to be honest, honest um, 
my, 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 my weapon, weapon is pretty, pretty simple. simple. Axe anyway. anyway. Armor and shield. I've, I've got, got a, a feeling, feeling I'm not going to get, get to sneak, sneak them, them past them anyway, anyway, so... Um, I'll, I'll have, have them with, with me, but I've got, got a feeling, feeling that, 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 you know, know that that I'll end up having, having to change into mine anyway. I mean, I would have thought the mine would keep you properly safe where we're working with Yeah, yeah, they do. They give you tickets and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 they give you tickets and everything. Um, you assemble with the crew on the dock side. Now, as you're approaching this crew, you know which one it is because you see Mirabelle. Not the only cat person there, but definitely the only one with a tiger pattern. Um, in your crew, however, she's definitely the only cat folk. She's not the tallest woman. That would be Mandy the Giant. This crew is entirely non-human. There's another Icarite, and already Harold is going, I hope those two don't stand near each other, because seriously. Because, um, you know, it's just a hell of, hell of shrew to you. You can't tell them apart. The um, There's a couple of dwarves. There's... Um, uh, there's there's some there's an eye towel which is like a big red bag of water. Uh, there's an orc which you don't see often even in moraine, and um, there's even a tree. There's a couple of Susians which are pigmen people, and um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. The tree looks at you and smiles. Hello, hello, again. again. His name is George. George. <coughs> George. George. This is Harold. Harold. Hi, Hi, George. George. A human. A human in, in our crew. That's nice. Yes, yes we, we have everyone. So what kind, kind of tree, tree is George? George? Are you asking or just referring to your knowledge? You would have seen possibly seen trees around before, maybe. Trees come from the living forest, which is a long, long way away. Um, they, uh, they're, they're saplings only. They don't. They, they always return to their roots before you get that joke in. Um, no, that, that wasn't the one. That, that, that was, was that, that wasn't that, that wasn't the one that I was going, going for. I was, I was just, just trying, trying to find, find out George was from the jungle. jungle. Um, um, it's from the living forest. Let me show you a. Phil, Phil got, got the, gag. the gag. Yeah, I'm moving past. Um, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. Yep. Nothing, Nothing to see here. here. Right, let me show you my little map, uh, which I still need to get properly done at some point. Um, right, come here. Uh, IT issues. Here we go. A map. So, uh, get the whiteboard in front. There we are. Right. So this is Moraine. Oh, no, that didn't quite go as planned. There's no. That's a boat. There's Moraine. All right. All the way over here is the Living Forest. So quite okay. okay. That's, that's yeah. yeah that's, 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 that's all right. Yeah. Now, he's out of track. Track. Often. Um, but the living forest became sentient uh, quite a while ago, and ever since then it sends out emissaries to learn about the world and return. Okay. okay. And because um, you know, it wants to know, um, wants, wants to understand what all these sentient beings do. Um, they actually, um, they are actually a playable race, but they cannot talk to plants and trees. They can only talk to the living forest. Um, because they all speak different languages, apparently. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway. Is the tree sort of... Is the forest the mind, mind, the tree sort of, sort of more part, part of it? Or the, or the individuals? individuals? This is an individual. Right, right. Uh, the, tr- the, forest, the living forest is an assemblage of individuals. Right, right. Okay, individual okay. trees and plants and stuff that became sentient. Basically, an area of forest became sentient. When the world fragmented, the forest started falling off the edge as the edge broke off. And the rest of the trees thought, cool, fuck this, we need to learn how to move fast, and did. (laughs) 
And then there's a whole backstory how the city of Impera Pompeia fell, uh, mostly through human arrogance and stuff, and um, things happened. There was a war. The trees won. Um, like we, we knew, knew they, they would. would. Yeah. Uh, well, the empire did. The old empire had many, many faults. Uh, I won't go into them too much because your character is, of course, descended from the old empire. Um, uh, Just branching over, over the jewels. Yeah. Um, um, so anyway, that's that's the living forest. They're they're okay, okay. A, a curious race of trees, and this is a young sapling who's come to learn about mining. Okay. okay. Um, do, do we have, have any, any idea? idea? Actually, Actually have, 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 have been been towards towards shift, shift, uh, uh, my, my sister was on. You see Mirabelle, and she. I'm glad you made it. Of course, you made it. Yeah, yeah. You're to work. Team. Harold. Here is new, and he's with Kuwait. They're going to be on our rotor, but they won't be working with us. And there's a kind of unhappy murmuring amongst the crew. And we won't be hitting our quota this time, and that's okay. I don't expect us to, because these two will be letting the team down. But it seems there is good cause for them to enter the mine. If anyone here has an objection to that, throw them overboard now. Throw them overboard! Mandy kind of looks at you, the, the giant, and everyone's looking to Mandy, and and she's like, "Um, why are they here?" Uh, it's him. him. <laughs> yes, yes. Little girl. Little girl. <laughs> she's lost, lost in, in the mine. Yeah, and she's missing. Missing, Missing, yes. 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 If anyone throws these overboard, I'll throw them overboard. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank Mandy. Hmm. Mirabelle. That's settled then. On the boat, team. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my, my best is to get there too 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 uh, and, of course, once you get to the dockside, it is immensely busy because not only is a shift of miners arriving with over 10,000 people, but there's another shift leaving on the boats that were coming in at the same time. And uh, lots of naked people moving around as they're all being strip searched, but they're the other side of a big fence. Um, and then, of course, there's miners who are just arriving, getting their clothes off, and everyone just kind of seems to do this in the open and sort of package their stuff up into a lockbox, uh, put on uh, the standard mining gear, which is really just a tunic with a pouch, and they put their little lockbox keys in the pouch, and then, uh, and then they walk through an office to sign on for the shift. So just, 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 just do, do what I do. I'll oh, start, start. Take, take my clothes off. And, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. the team through, and um, and and you get to the the guys in the office. And Mirabel's like Team K six nine two. Also, 
Team K692. Righto, stamp, stamp, stamp. One new arrival. Details to be taken. Righto, which one is it? Help me out here. Um, that, 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 that would, would be, be me. Uh, come forward. Name, address, next of kin in case of death. <sighs> Name, Harold, Harold Gordon. Gordon. Yeah, address. address. Blah, 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 blah. Harold, Harold Farm. Farm. Who do we send your wages to if you're killed? That, that would, would be, be my parents. parents. Mm -hmm. Maud and Arthur. Arthur. Maud and Arthur. There. Sign. Right. There we go. Now, are you trying to sneak anything in under your tunic? No. no. Okay. Basically, basically, I'm basing, basing this purely, purely on, the on the fact that, that um, a hat is going to stick, gonna stick out, out like a sword thumb in a tunic, tunic anyway. anyway. I, I, could, I, I could possibly try and, try and black, black that, that I thought, I thought it, was it was just a mining thing, thing but, but um, um, I've, I've seen, seen enough, enough of people walking, walking in and picking, picking up pickaxes I reckon to reckon I'm not, not going to get past the pickaxe. So I'll just follow the herd. Yeah, you're kind of as as you're going, sort of, you know, go through the building. It's kind of like a huge press of people. If you've ever been to like any sort of big concert where they just don't give a shit and you're just a number to get through the gate, mm -hmm. it's kind of like that kind of inhumane treatment. It's just a throng and throb of people going into the mine, into the, the diners, and just outside the mine there's all the pickaxes that have been put down by the ship that's leaving, you start, or well, the crew starts hunting through looking for relatively sharp ones, um, then they go, um, they go and get them re-sharpened, oh, yeah. Look, looking for solid ones, then they go off to the side to get them re-sharpened at a grinding stone, there's loads of grinding stones, the noise is incredible, there's sparks everywhere, Mirabel sends somebody else in, as does George, to sharpen their pickaxes because there's no way they're getting close to that many sparks. And, and then, of course, there's all the oil lanterns and there's, there's a team of people just topping up the oil on the lanterns that have just been brought out, putting fresh oil in, changing the wicks and doing this kind of service on them. And then there's a table where all the serviced ones have just been put out in a big hurry, and then people just picking them up as they go by. Uh, I, I, um, I, I, I pick, pick up a pickaxe pick and, and the lantern. lantern. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not going, going to uh, attempt, attempt to go, to go near, near uh, uh, any, 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 any of the grindstones, because quite, quite frankly, frankly um, I have I a have feeling, feeling I, would not, not, I, would I would not sharpen, sharpen my, my pickaxe pick handle, handle as I think it falls off. People doing it for you. You know, right, right. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll get, get a sharp, sharp one, one and, and uh, a filled, filled lantern, lantern and, and um, um, still, still follow the herd. herd. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then uh, Mirabelle's like, uh, and oh, you you can't help but notice that Mandy is holding a pick at two pickaxes in each hand, using two of her fingers for one and, and another two <laughs> fingers between the thumb for the other. So she's actually holding four pickaxes. Uh, Mandy looks to George and says, Do you want the, the Kavaka bird again? And George is like, I could try pickaxe this time. I could. I think I could do another way. I'm a bit stronger now. I've got a sixth ring on me. I think I could crack the rocks. All right, Nevis, you take the canary. And in you go. And as you're entering, or as your crew is entering, Mirabelle turns to you and says, Your sister, Eaglet Godwinson. I have put us in the same tunnel. We are going to work quite close to where she was scheduled. 
Thank, Thank you. you. Well, well done. done. That's, 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 that's perfect. perfect. Faster we can get it working, working well. well. Remember, you're the only human in our crew. I'll always know where you are from your smell. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, start, start heading, heading into, into the, the, the mine and the, 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 the general, general direction. direction. Mandy's really keen and she's like walking ahead of the line. She's like, come on crew, last one there's a rice farmer. <laughs> I, 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 I turn, turn to, to... I turn, I turn to, to Korea, Korea and say, say um, um, so, so, so let, let me get, get this straight. straight. You've, You've got, got a giant, giant who can, can wield, wield four, four pickaxes at, at once. once. Yeah. And you have a living, living tree that is, that is pretty, pretty sure you can, can crack, crack the rocks, rocks without, without a pickaxe pick at all. all. Yeah. And Mirabelle is, is worried, worried you can't, can't make, make your, your quarter. quarter. It's, 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 it's pretty, pretty demand pace. pace. It, it works, works day, day and night. night. I mean, I mean uh, you know, it's, it's hard, hard work. work. They don't pay well for nothing. Yeah, I I I'm pointing to the doors. Doors work. work. They're, They're really, really good. 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 good diggers. diggers. They seem, they seem to, to dig, 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 dig the whole night through. through. Um. um I, I, I'm, I'm just very surprised, surprised given, given the, uh, the, uh, the amount, amount of people here, here and the, 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 uh, the, uh, the size, size and strength, strength of the, the, the workforce, workforce that, that um, you, have you have such, such a, a uh, such, such a tough, tough water, water that, that even, even losing, losing one, one being one, one poultry, poultry human, human down, down puts, puts it in jeopardy. jeopardy. Well, the, 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 the quotes are always going up as well. They always need more gold plasticity. Anyway, anyway um, um, I, I start, start to head, head towards, towards the, the beast, beast area, area where, where um, my sister, sister would, would have been. been. Yeah, you're all heading that way. You notice the dwarves actually aren't carrying pickaxes, they're carrying wheelbarrows, and um, the orc is uh, carrying uh, 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 stick across <coughs> his back with buckets of water, like two buckets of water on each end of the stick. And that, you know, uh, Kuwaya is your drinking water while you're on shift. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, say is it, they got, they got ladles. ladles. Yeah, yeah, is it? Is it, well, well, it's, 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 yeah. Just grab your hands and... And, yeah, yeah. And, and don't, don't, don't shoot, shoot all of them, you can't grab that, that much. much. Okay. And you head down. It actually takes several hours to get there, and you, you you learn en route that the water is really just to get there. That gets you to the nearby encampment. This is apparently you discover your home for the next month. This underground encampment under the mountain, close to close-ish to where you'll be mining, um, and it's kind of like a, a little barracks. It's got you know a, basically rows of bunk beds. Um, and a, a few lights, sort of lanterns are hammered into the wall, and uh, you know, as you arrive, um, uh, the, the, the orc character goes and, and sort of sorts out the lamp and, and gives it a, a, a changeover and stuff. And um, and b before you've even sort of had the chance to remotely settle, Mirabel's like, right, and we're off to the front. Let's go, people, and you march on. And you know, after the shortest of breaks, it's about an hour and a half to the bit that you're actually going to be mining. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Go on, Come on, keep, keep up. up. I did, yeah, I did. The moment you get there, the orc starts, you know, delivers the buckets and starts walking back again. 
Um, the dwarves didn't come with you. They'll arrive a little bit later with the wheelbarrows because um, they figure there's not a lot of that, nothing to haul back just yet. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and then Mirabel looks to you two and says, "The last tunnel she dug is just through there." Okay, okay um, I'll make, make a mention, mention of where she's pointing, pointing and, and as soon as, as everyone, everyone seems, seems to be sort of getting, getting into their rhythm, rhythm, rhythm uh, I, make I make my, my way, way towards, towards it. it. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Hold, hold up, hold up. You don't want to get lost, lost in here. In here. Okay. Right, so, you've both got pickaxes, right? Are any of you going to take a lantern? Yeah, yeah, I've got a lantern with me. Okay. Are you both taking lanterns? Yes. yes, I'll take yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, just so you're aware, if it comes to a combat, these pickaxes are really two-handed weapons to, to really hammer home. Yeah, yeah. But if you try to use it a bit like an axe, well, it isn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it relies on brute force and ignorance. Yes. Um, yes. So, but you could do it one-handed. Just well, to be honest, you'd be so slow. Mm. Both. Just do it um, awkward. Yeah, you just wouldn't get the speed up quickly enough and, and stuff. You'd just be out, out done. Anyway, so you go forward carrying pickaxe in one hand, or you, you suppose there's probably a belt hook with a sort of belt with a, a ring that you can put the pickaxe in or something. Um, and you know, carrying your lanterns, and and you proceed forward. And how do you do on your own in the dark? Well, I would say, in terms of finding it, you're going to need to make an environment dungeon check. One of you needs to step forward for the team and make the check. Um. Right. right. Um, okay. okay. Yeah. I'm, going, I'm, going, I'm going to assume, to assume that, that it's going, going to be uh, Kawea based purely, purely on, on the fact, fact that he knows, knows his way around, around the dungeon, dungeon and, and I don't. don't. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no,
to, to you know, you know signs, signs of a struggle. Of a struggle. I don't see anything um, that suggests there was a struggle. But does either of you have trade mining? No, 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 no. Really? Oh, yes, I did, 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 I if your team was working this gold front right now, or this gold seam, they would easily hit quota. In fact, Mirabelle would probably get a promotion. Wow. I'm going to tell her this when we get back. Which means it's an opportunity for one of, one of you guys in the team to then also become a foreman. You know, it's good for everyone. Everyone moves up, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, this, 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 this would be really, really, really good. good. This is the, the job of my dreams, dreams boat. So, so are, 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 are we, we going, going to be, be um, are, we are we heading, heading back, back to tell the others? others? Or, or are, are we just yeah, 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 that's, that's just the end the shift. shift. Let's, 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 um... um Let's, 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 sort of, sort of, um, can, can we, we see, can we see a sort of tunnel, tunnel onward? onward? Or does or it does actually stop dead? So, uh, let, let me draw what you had then. So, this was your gold scene. There was a crack through the side there that you could, uh, so I'll just draw it off screen so it kind of makes a bit more sense. So there's this crack through the side where this excavation tunnel was dug mm -hmm. and then that joined to another passage just here. This is the gold scene. Right, right. But it seems to go on down this way, you know, to the left. And that's unusual. You notice actually that whilst there are support beams all the way along here, there are, and there's a support beam has been put in here, although it started but not finished, there are none to the left. Hmm. I mean, I mean this, 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 I meant, I meant gold, gold here, they, they would have probably seen the roof. roof. They don't, don't want to cave in and lose this thing. So, so can I can I, 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 I just examine, examine the, 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 the gold, gold scene? Yeah, it's um, it's you know what, you, th this ain't rock. This is just solid gold. Wow, I mean, I mean suppose suppose we've heard, heard about this. A large portion of the face is just solid gold. Wow, wow the crew here would, 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 would pay money, money to work this scene. scene. And you can see from where they've already started to chip at it. In fact, there's gold nuggets just lying on the floor where it's been chipped out of this wall. And you can see that this is deep, whatever this seam you know, is. It's at least a couple of inches deep from just where they just did an exploratory little dig. And what they'd started to do was dig around the edges of it. Dig around the edges of the seam? Pull the big block yeah, so they're actually tr they were clearly trying to find the edge of this gold so they could just remove it as a big block. Wow. wow. Did, did, does, does it look like there are any success at that? It looks like they stopped very early in the process. They didn't even get the support beam up. Hmm. How, How much down the left hand passage, passage does our lantern illuminate? Uh, really 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 it's not far, you know, you're talking 20 mm -hmm. feet or something. Actually, your eyes have adjusted a bit, so possibly 30, 40 feet. Mm -hmm. um. <coughs> Are there, 
there, there any support beams, beams not, not up, up yet, yet just line on the floor, floor when you go, go up? up? No. Um, well, there's, there's... Okay, sure, there's, uh, there's, there's a, like a, a barrow of beams, but they've not been put up. Charlie, because it's really stopped mid-work. There's absolutely, absolutely no, no sign. Well, unless they're down that way. Yeah. yeah. Hello! 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 I, 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 I'm, I'm not, not an expert, expert in mining, mining but, but I, get I get the impression, impression that the loud sounds, sounds might, might not, not be, be very, very useful, useful here. here. Well, so, oh, so mining, mining, we, we stop mining, mining pictures, pictures. It's, 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 it's very, very loud, loud. and, and you, you get, get used to the dust. dust. But, but uh, uh, well, right, this is strange, because if, you know, someone would have noticed this, this gang, missing two weeks, surely, and, and they've got gold here. here. I don't, I don't understand, understand it at all. At all. We, we, we would have to check, check them down, 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 down that, that way in the dark. The dark. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, inching, inching along, slowly, slowly but surely, surely safely, safely as possible, possible. Uh, uh, inching, inching our way down, down this, this, uh, this, this uh, um, corridor, corridor on the left. On the left. Okay. As you move away from the gold scene, you both think for a moment, you hear a voice say, Thank you. What? what? Did, 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 did you, you hear that? That must have just, just been a wind, wind surely. surely. Or a beam, beam creaking. Either that, that or, or the gold, gold just, just thanks, thanks us for, for not, not hitting, hitting it. it. Go, 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 go
and as you're walking down this corridor, you, you're very alarmed to notice in particular, Kuwea, that there are still no support beams here. Hmm, it doesn't, it doesn't look, look like any of us put this up, because who'd, who'd, who'd have put the beams, beams up, because we went? Then, you hear a rumbling sound. Come from behind, behind or, or in front, front of, us? of us? In front. In front, in front. Oh, oh, we'll start back, back in a little bit. bit. I, I grab power and drop on. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. wait. There's people watching on YouTube. I thought I did this as a private event. You got viewers. We got viewers. We got viewers. We Hello. Oh, bloody hell. Lord Morbius. Oh, how the hell did that happen? I was supposed to just be recording it for our own private benefit. Well, you know. Ooh. I but supposedly, know. supposedly your audio is fine, but me and Phil are... Um, Echoing. Hmm. Oh, right. Okay. Well, um, I suppose I better try and quickly fix that, hadn't I? Uh, <clears throat> I, I, I wonder, I wonder, because I can see two images of me, two images of Phil, but only one of no, you. It's, it's very complicated setup because I'm recording Skype and rerouting sound through virtual interfaces to the broadcast oh. thing. The broadcast thing, I'm guessing, is picking it up twice because. It's not set up right. Hang on. Mm. Um, microphone is that. What if I... Um, <coughs> okay. Um, Alright. Uh, oh, uh, I don't oh. know. Right. Trenton is saying it's better now. Oh. oh, okay. I did mute the speakers in XSplit. I wonder if that did it. Because the speakers, in theory, would be where your sound would. Come out. It's possible if sound. it's if it's picking up the yeah. sound yeah, direct and then the sound from the speakers. I think I've done this really clever system of virtual audio cables that wasn't necessary. <laughs> and now we're currently on that rather than the, the anyway. Um, well, seeing as we've inadvertently apparently broadcast this, um, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring the live chat in because, like, live chat's cool. So, um, nope, apparently I'm not. It didn't like that. Why? Let me try that again. Ba -ba 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 -ba. No, no, just a black screen. Pop out chat. Uh, I should I say that it can't seem to grab that. Okay. Yeah, the chat, the chat is uh, our feed is um, I don't know how many seconds or whatever behind, but it's 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 not yeah, it's not dual casting on the on the video for some reason. I wonder if I'm out of video RAM or something. Shouldn't be, but yeah, well. Um, so let's just have a little summary. Somehow, some of my favourite players says Lord Montbius. Don't forget to show some love for us all by clicking like, subscribe, etc. Sounds like an outdoor sporting event with the echo. The players, yes, uh, are really very little. Bleh. Trenton says hello. Everyone check if everyone goes with me. Everything's all just spot on. Not sure what the deal is for the others. Me, I fucked up. It's not a um, Google Hangout, this, because Google Hangouts has um, no longer works with my type of Google account, can no longer do Hangouts on air. So, hence, stuff. But, well, what do you know? I've inadvertently broadcast a game. That just... Uh, I swear. You know what I did, though? Because I at first did do it as a, uh, as a... I tried to make it as a Google Hangout. And I think what happened is I... Um, I must have, when I recreated the event, not set it to private. Just curious now. I want to pull up the listing um, and have a little look. See, completely forgot one. Oh yeah, the spooky bit. Right. I say the spooky bit. I mean, 
I started this session with no idea what we we're going to do. I didn't know I was running a game until <laughs> thirty, so six. Um, oh, YouTube's going so slow. There's four people watching apparently. Even now, while I'm, you know, we're we're rambling around and looking at. Yeah, it's public. Oops. Because um, we're. That's that's because when it gets right down to it, uh, you and Jason have built up a hell of a following. We're quite a small channel, really. Yeah, but dedicated, which is half a battle sometimes. Um. The, I mean, like, I, I don't know, a lot of role-playing channels have had massive growth, and we're just not one of them, you know, we're, we're, we're not a tiny channel anymore, but we're, we're not growing like the big channels are. Um, I think what we need is a white American man fronting the channel. <laughs> Seems to be the way it works at the minute. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Anyway. Why don't we take this opportunity to get a drink, seeing as we've kind of paused for a minute anyway, get a drink um, and cool off a bit because it's bloody hot in here. We're going to have to find a way to take this jacket off and yet still melt my microphone because I've lost half the clip. But I could go for a shoulder mounted. Could try mm. Tie it into here somehow. So yeah, let's let's just take a couple of minutes because I want to get a drink and have a smoke. Okay, stuff. yeah, a couple of minutes. And, uh, We'll come back and hopefully we still won't be echoing and things. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Okay, back in a moment.
back. Uh, that should have dealt with any remaining viewers on the street. No, you're all still, well, all but one of you, the three of you are still here. Yay, hi. Um, so, uh, yes, impromptu accidental stream. Um, really wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> I was just going to record this and, you know, just for my own benefit uh, was the intention. And, um, got the settings wrong. So, uh, yes, my bad. So, um, welcome to one of my test sessions, really, testing, um, not really testing the system. I mean, this is, I'm working on a role-playing system. Uh, we're playing a game in that system, but those guys don't have the cards. So we're not really using the system as it's meant to be played, we've kind of come up with a kind of weird hybrid. Basically, the situation was our regular game was cancelled tonight, so I said, I'll run something. And the advantage of this system is it can very quickly create characters with lots of detailed background. So I thought, let's do that. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's working quite well. Thank you. It's working quite well, isn't it? I think it's quite good. Yeah. I mean, it does... I, what I like about the character generation is that you, although, as I said before, uh, early before we started inadvertently streaming, um, the quite often the backgrounds will actually just generate stories because there's just enough there to just say, yeah, this is this is something that could be a path, you know, a quest, and you know, some you could have been fired from being a miner because you committed some crime or you were just accused of it or something like that mm -hmm. which yeah. you know all that stuff can happen and um you know you get your details of your family and things like that and you it's a it's a very detailed world and that's why it's taking me so long to write <laughs> yeah. yeah so uh we seem to all be back I just want to uh, try without busting too much in the mic, hopefully, um, as I'm getting really hot in here because it's a small room. The heating's apparently on. The other half has a cold, uh, or cough cold thing. Now, I've got to try and do this in such a way that the microphone freezes, making too many rustling sounds, and is still close. Because <laughs> it's in the hoop of my jacket because <laughs> the clip broke. So it was a microphone, now it's just a mic. <laughs> right, you head on down the passage and again you hear the thank you as you walk off. And then you realise that as this passage extends, there are no support beams and suddenly you hear a rumbling sound from ahead and it's starting to get hotter. Well, oh, that's that's not normal. Quick st stop there, Harold, Harold. Come come yeah, back. Come yep, back. yep, 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 no, yep. Not not going down there. Yep, that's definitely not normal. What could that be? What what on earth could that be? And then the, you notice that reflecting off the edges of the tunnel where the angle of the tunnel is sort of facing away from you it, it's kind of got a glow a golden glow mm. just the edges facing away from you like it's reflecting back something that's coming and it's going um. Better go back. Let's go back to the to the to the T the T junction. Yes, yes, uh, uh, yeah. I, I, yes, I like that idea. Let's, yes, let's Stop. be. 
how quickly are you trying to get back? Um, quicker and quicker as, as the rumbling gets louder and louder. <laughs> in, the, in the dark. So I think I'd like to have either a speed test or an environment dungeon test from one of you. Do you, do you do this one, Ronnie? Did the last yeah, one? I suppose. I suppose I better. Um, right. So it's going to be three dice either way. Um, I have no speed. Um, so three dice. Does it roll anything seven or above, or anything above seven? Reroll seven or higher, and then keep the result. And I add the three together. You take the best three and add them together, yeah. Yeah, 19. Okay. You get to the T-junction, and by the time you do, you become very aware, not only that behind you is molten gold rushing towards you, but that the gold seam in front of you is no longer there. Instead, it's just a hole into darkness beyond. Whoa. So what should have been uh, a rock face that was largely gold is now just open. You can see a floorway heading down, but you can't see much else beyond. Um. Well, that's... <sighs> I... It's possible your crew may not make their quarter after all. Well, with this carriage, we won't be caring about that very much, will we? No, I, I, I think we need to make our way down this, this, this passageway. So you go down the side passage, yeah, back to yeah, here. back towards where we came from. Uh, yeah, hang on, it's not drawing. Back to here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You go down the side passage as you do. The, the passage that you were just in fills with rushing gold, just rushing past at an alarming speed. A huge, huge, huge quantity of it. And it's going to the, to the right? It's going to the right. To where the gold what? seam was. That's... You stand there stunned watching it just fly past. It goes on for about a minute, and then it ceases, um, and it starts getting colder again. Straight away, the, the temperature starts dropping. Yeah, I, I, I sort of head back and sort of kick my head round to the right toward looking okay. at where the seam that 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 where we saw the wall of gold and okay wasn't all the stuff that was there, the barrows, the beams and everything, the pickaxes on the floor and the lanterns, that's all still there. The gold <coughs> seam is back along with the chip that was in it. And as you stand there observing this and trying to work out what the hell that just was, you hear a rumbling from beyond the seam. Well, behind the wall? Behind the wall. Um, wow. hmm. no idea what that could have been that is just I, I, I look at the, the sort of barrels and the, the pickaxes that are on the ground um, is, is there any signs at all that they've been singed or warped or burned or Is it possible this mine played tricks with us? Well, it's, it's, it's just a tunnel in, in rock. It can't play tricks. And it's yet... Cool we're, 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 digging, turning, we're digging... We're digging... to normal temperature. And right. yet... We, we, we both just witnessed a whole river of gold and this intense heat and yet there is not a burn or a melt 
of any kind with the barrels. I mean, if that were true molten gold, that the, the barrels would have been in flames. They they would have been. The the the, the pickaxe heads would have been melted. They, they would have been molten as well, surely. Well, yeah, I mean, not, it's, obviously it's going to be hot, but... Not a singe, not a burn mark. It's just, it's just things just, just don't behave like that. I don't know. I, 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 did, I, 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 I'm stunned. All, absolutely all, stunned. All, all, all things being equal, I'm inclined to agree, but you and I both saw it. Um... So either we saw something impossible or we were made to see something impossible. And there was that voice. That thank you. So you did hear a voice? Well, it was, it was, it was wind or it was, it was wood creaking or something, but it, it sounded like words, obviously, but it can't have been words. There's no one here. And yet... Uh, I'm I'm going to examine this chip. Okay. Um, it looks very much like pickaxe striking it, like they were testing the depth of this scene. I I look round about. Can I see anything on the ground? Kind of broken, sh you know, sort of broken shard, something that might in might indicate, you know, what was in the wall? No. No trace at all. Hmm. Well, the only thing we can do to, to prove what's happening here is, is, is to pick up one of those pickaxes and, and, and give the wall a good solid crack with it. <laughs> Stand back. Um, yeah, um, I go back into that side tunnel, that left tunnel, and I go mm. way back. Um, I'm going to go up to the wall, and I'm going to, I'm going to tap the, the seam. I've got a pickaxe on the other hand, yeah. and I tap the seam and just mm, there, and I line up. I, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of offering, sort of and I'm offering up a quick sort of voice and saying, "Please forgive us." Um, <laughs> he knows strike, not what he does. You strike at the gold seam, and um, other than this being more gold than you've ever seen, um, as a gold miner of what's it six years, um, it you know you 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 knock some gold out. There's a little nugget on the floor. And I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up and I'll turn around and say, see, it's, it's just gold. It's it's just normal. And I'll carry it over to Harold and say, look, look, look. You hear another rumbling sound, but this time it sounds more muted beyond the wall. This is... Uh, Something there might be another cave back there, perhaps. That's that's where. Hmm. Yes, I, I um. When I the fear wall that. Disappeared, do you think that's where the the, the 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 missing team went? Yes, I do. We I think in, I think instead of ducking into this side tunnel, I think when the molten gold came as I am sure that they saw the same thing as we did I think they went straight ahead into the the darkness that uh, was once the wall well we, we could always try walking down the tunnel again and seeing if it happens again yes you hear a familiar voice from down your side tunnel. Hello, hello. 
Miracle is... wanted to just check if you're all okay and asked me to bring you a bucket of water because you left without. Oh, that just absolutely lovely. Thank of you course, so much. Now that I'm not at all. Wow, says George, looking at the gold scene. Wow. Yes, wow. Uh, but there's something a bit strange going on here. We're, we're not. It, it's possibly not a normal gold scene. I know. Wow. Yes, um, uh, yeah, um, uh, I know what your first instinct will be. I, I would ask that, that, that you not. Well, actually, there's a couple of instincts I'd like you not to act on. Uh, one of them is actually striking the wall. The second is telling other people about the wall because they'll come here and they'll want to strike it. Yes, um, keep it to our crew. I, um, I was meaning the crew as well, at least until we know what we've got here. Oh. We're not keeping it... For we're not keeping it for ourselves as soon as we verify that this is actually a proper gold seam. By all means, bring the crew down here and, and we'll, you know, you can have at it. But right now, it's, um, it's complicated. Mm. No, no, it's not. It really is. Why, why do you say not? Well, it's fairly simple. Uh, and? What do you mean? Well, what are we missing then? Obviously you seem to think we're missing something. Well, support beams, obviously. Yes, yes, I know that the support beams are missing. I'd the... better get back anyway. Bye! Don't say anything! <sighs> He's going I'll to tell only people. tell that you're keeping a secret. Excellent. Okay, um, we 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 we're not going to have long before um, the rest of that crew coming from the, down the tunnel. <sighs> Here we go. Oh, so are you are you going are you going to run into the space if if that uh, if it disappears again? Yes. Are you sure that's wise? No, but I can't see any other way of getting around this problem. And if I want to find out what happened to my sister, I'm going to have to take a leap of faith, I think. Sure enough, uh, 30 seconds or so later, the gold seam opens up like a really cool spaceship door. And we're in! Right, run! Run! Quickly and before that door comes. Into this chamber beyond. I'm going to uh, clear off the, the little whiteboard here now. I'll do a slightly thicker line this time so you can see it more. I'm going to draw this side on. So you come in here. And the floor kind of does this. Will be the roof up here. Oops. Come here. So, yeah, you see this kind of slope down, which you can step on. I've drawn that as a bit of a harsh angle, actually. Let's, let's do it a bit. There you go. So you 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 can kind of step here. Um, bit of a lip there. Mm hmm. Oh God. Uh. We, we oh, might to, God. We might have to get out of the way here. I don't know whether that's deliberate or not, or whether I'm just reading th things far too much into this. But, um, yeah. My player hasn't any clue at all, but um, me looking at that picture, I, I suddenly haven't suddenly have an instinct, and um, I'm not happy about it. But, um, onward. I wonder if you figured it out or not. 
Um, <coughs> what I think we're what uh, I think we're actually oh. inside the dragon. Oh. It kind of looked like a tunnel with a, you know, kind of stomach with intestine kind of leading oh, off. I see a stomach. How far down is it from our entrance to the to the floor? I'd That's one. That four out of ten. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, oh God, down? we're up our anus. Um, it's <sighs> a bit of a. Um, it, it, it's a slide down, but actually, I'm going to be a little bit kinder. I'm actually I'm going to redraw this slightly. Uh, so let's let's go in. So you've got this kind of. Slope down, a bit of a lip, and uh, draw a bit more again. Bum, bum, bum. So well, bangles my I bangles my idea actually. There we go. I was um, gonna. I was I was gonna suggest we get we get a bit of the barrels, you know, like the the. We just stand in the barrows, and when that river of gold comes over us, we'll just surf down it. Rock here is a different type of rock, one you've not seen before. Kuwea. Kuwea. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. <laughs> I just had to get it back on screen to read it, but I'm getting it. Okay. Right, okay. Um, is it, what, a different colour, or is there a sort of like... Yeah, it's a different colour, different texture. It's a different texture of rock. It feels more slimy, actually. Slimy rock. Mm, there's a bit of moisture in this cave. This is just... A stamp on it. <laughs> it actually flexes a little as you kick it. The gold right. river is definitely approaching. Uh, well, you, we need to get out of the way of this gold river. We're gonna, we're gonna get drowned in gold. Yeah. Um, is 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 there enough of an overhang that we that 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 um, if we crowd right into just under? Yeah. You can try. Um, it's kind of why I just there. Could. Um, you, you know, can can, can 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 we at least have sort of sixty second waterfall? Yeah. I just realised we're about to watch a sixty-second golden shower, but um. <laughs> no chance of monetizing this now, is there? <laughs> oh dear! You're gonna you're gonna do open goals. I'm gonna throw the ball in. Um, that was an open net. We need to get out of the way of this gold. We need to yeah, we're just gonna, yeah, we're just going to have to go. We're going to have to go right against the the, the the wall as much as possible under that lip, and just you know, the, yeah, okay. and and basically so that you know back right against, give ourselves enough space, and hopefully the the flow mm. will sort of go over the lip, and and we should sort of you know a bit like the the, the a bit like the sort of cave system right behind a waterfall. Um, you know, we should we should sort of miss the majority of it, if not all of it. Sure enough, the gold starts pouring in. <laughs> yeah. Love these amazing yeah. quality drawings. And it starts filling up. State of the art graphics here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you end up climbing up again and going there. Because <laughs> it fills up. But it's filling up still. Oh. And it gets to it's... about there. And you're like, you're, you've got no more room. molten gold coming over you. You've got molten gold filling up below you. And you're like, we're gonna die. Oh, how hot is it? Extremely. You're not sure. If the um, any yeah. Eyes, the hair in your ears is burning. Yeah. So, the, uh, um, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll, I was bold we're enough. To, we're gonna have to sort of climb a little more and and hope to God this thing yeah. stops at some point. 
Yeah, it certainly does at the very last. Can't get any higher. <laughs> then the gold seam reappears, and presumably one down here must open because it, the the water, or the golden molten gold river, looks like it's gone down just a, a little. I mean, it sank about an inch or two as it settled, and then all of a sudden. Change colour here. <clears throat> All of a sudden, the ceiling compresses somewhat. And it's really high pressure, and by which point you're probably hiding up here. Um, yes. And the pressure is so intense, it's uh, you actually just end up with hands over your ears. You, in particular, Kawea. With yeah. your species large ears, yeah. are really finding this intensely I painful. I can't stand much more of this. And then it wobbles back into shape, back to where it originally started. And as you sort of come out of your huddle of pain, you realise the gold is gone. Right. Um. How can it be that much molten gold in a mine? Yes. Um. Uh. I have a horrible thought. What? What? What, what are you thinking? I don't want to alarm you. But. I think we might be in someone's digestive tract. What, what are you talking about? Yeah. I, 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 I think I, I think we're in something. Something that eats gold. I can think of only one creature offhand that eats gold. Oh. There's, there's no dragons left anymore, is it? Um... It's just legends. But the Queen and her son. Oh, do we, we know that, do we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. I, I, I think, without putting too fine a point on it, we may be here by royal descent. Yes, but the Queen's in the city. Yes. Um, it this is, might... You're saying this is another dragon? Or, or, or some species that also uh, eats gold and also um, uh, is extremely large and has a very nice voice when we don't hit it one. I think we need to go down. Whatever we do, we're going to have to hurry up because there'll be another lot of gold back soon. Yes, I don't think I can stand that again. I don't think we. I don't think we would survive another one. Uh, head down. Okay. You head down into the chamber below. Um, and yeah, try, try and, is a bit trying to, that. yeah, try, trying to sort of hang on to, um, sort of, you know, trying to get good, good sort of finger holds and toe holds. I, I, I can try and lo lower you down and you can try and catch me as I fall. You, getting down is the easier part. Um, oh, we're not no gold down here at the moment we're never going to get out of here we we we, we will get out um there is I, 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 think we need to, I think we need to follow the gold another gold scene just here 
Oh, we can't get out. Why he's blocked? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Why he's blocked? We can't get out. That goal's going to be in here any second. The way is shot. The way is shot. It was made by those that were fed. The way is shot. <laughs> and sure enough, <laughs> you hear the gold seam up here open, and one closes here. Ah, oh, balls. Oh. Um, right. We we we're gonna have to get into a um. We're gonna have to get into a position here, because this stuff's gonna come down. Um. It is, yeah, there's no, there's nothing here. There's nowhere to hide. We just no. Um, actually, as the chamber above you fills, this one opens. Quick, out, out, quick. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, we, Ooh. we're gonna have to, yeah. We're, 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 um, we're, we're running. Um, running, climbing, stomping, yeah. swimming. So, uh, let's just see how well you climb this. Could somebody volunteer a climb roll, please? I will. Cl I. I will. I will volunteer that. I do get an extra dice for climbing. Uh, I get two. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to suggest that my two might 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 help here. Yes. Maybe. Um, and best three. Best three, yep. Yeah. Seventeen. Easily done it. So you help um, Kuwaya up and uh, into this cavern and um, where do you want to get to? Do you want to get to uh, A, B or um, maybe C or somewhere else? Um, I'm going to mm. say B. I want okay. as, to get as yeah. good a view of, of what happens next. I think A and C are going to be, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah. I think okay. B will give us a good view of what's coming. Oh, of course, it depends how fast it comes in, though. Suddenly, this one closes. Oh, you can't quite... I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me change colour. Um, this one closes, and this one... Sorry, oh, this... <laughs> number one opens, number two closes. <laughs> Maybe not the best numbers to use. <laughs> We're gonna go up again. Uh, so now you can see that there is a way up. Climbing. And uh, you do get through into this chamber, and um, of course, this is blocked off up the top. Mm. And there's you know, the, the rumbling all around and, and stuff's happening with you know, with the, the, this uh, let me see so as you go through here yeah this is going to I've, I've kind of got the sequence slightly wrong but it doesn't matter um, so yeah the, as this closes you know the chamber behind you has filled up yeah this then opens and you know you have to get through this now yeah. we've yeah. got to keep moving forward yeah. And um yeah, you you make your way but the climb here is so difficult and you've not gone ropes. No. You're pretty much going to have to hoist your way up with your pickaxes. Just oh god. In in, in and pull sort of. It's the only way you can be sure of getting up in time. Or you could make a climb roll, but if you failed that climb check, you could actually die. Um, we get an early night. Um. <laughs> so, if you want to be sure, you're going to have to use your pickaxes to bury into the side of the rock. 
I think the only thing uh, the, 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 the only thing that's kind of holding me off the pickaxes is, is if we're right and this is actually we're actually inside someone or something i.e. a living being they're not going to take too kindly to sudden jolts of pain coming into their coming into the walls of their stomach or wherever the hell we are in it mm. um, you know they, they, they might not be particularly happy be a little miffed maybe I'm not sure I entirely believe that actually so I'm willing to use a pickaxe well, if he's going in for it, then then yeah, I'm, 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 I'll I'll okay. I'll pickaxe as well. Sorry. You start yeah, climbing yeah, with yeah, the pickaxe, yeah, yeah, yeah. your way up the side of wall. As you do, and as you kind of you, know, you wedge your foot in and you take another big hit and hoist up, the walls start quivering. Yep. And contracting and wobbling, and. Yep. There's a huge, distant noise, very, very far away. Oh. Don't recognise that sound. He says, still climbing. Only the axe. What, 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 what sound do we hear? Uh, oh, so it's like nothing you've heard ever before in your life. It goes on for about a minute and a half, and it's a combination of an incredibly deep rumble mixed with cracking sounds and popping sounds. I don't think it's very happy. Uh, it's not happy. Can't say I'm having a whale of a time myself. Uh, that it uh, possibly uh, uh, it, it, it may very well be that we're having a whale of a time. Um, we yeah, we're going to have to shift if we're going to get out, in, out of this um, right. antechamber. Well, we can always apologise once we're out if we don't get out. You climb up, and uh, I'm gonna. It's sort of twenty past ten, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rush a little bit now. Now you've completed okay. that four chamber sequence. <laughs> you go through a series of tunnels without um, supporting beams at all. Uh, the tunnels start quite large, and sometimes you you have to go a lot of the time vertically. And as as you're climbing these tunnels, they get narrower and narrower and narrower. And eventually, through a, a quite a small crack, you emerge into an absolutely gigantic chamber. I don't even know why I bothered trying to draw it. Absolutely <laughs> huge, and you see daylight beyond. Ooh. Oh, yeah, squinting now. It's though. like a, right. a crater top to the mountain. Now, you know Mount Ola from the outside. You've lived in the shadow of it all your life. It is not a crater top mountain. Is there is there anything around, any mountain around that sort of fits that description? or None at all with the possibility. Exception. Let me just see if I've got the map here somewhere. Uh, bring that back in. Um, uh, let me drag it. Hang on. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so again, moraine down in the bottom left. Uh, actually, yeah. No, it's on the the. Uh, so there's my. Whoop, whoops. There's Moraine. There is mm -hmm. also always Mount Bowl Khan or something, or the commonly known as Withens Perch, which is full of Withens. That's got to be hundreds, if not thousands, of miles away. Yeah, and you've seen it drawn on maps, though, and it does have a top that's sort of missing. 
that's the nearest thing you can think of. Hmm. Unless we've been the in-flight entertainment. Yeah. Oh, you can't. Um, yeah, have a good look around. Um, especially, you know, sort of looking around. Um, this exit that we've 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 come out of. Um, yeah. It will take a little while to climb up to the top, and by this point, you're actually you know, exhausted, hungry, mm -hmm. and tired. Uh, is the rock still a strange rock we had before? Uh, no, it looks like it's sheared, like it's the top of the mountain has actually just exploded off into a huge crater, uh, probably two miles wide. Okay. As you get to the top of this crater, and you get onto the ridge, you see, for the first time in your life, you actually see the queen and dragon form. You see down the side of the mountain is just gold, like the mountain is made of gold. And she, the moment you emerge, she turns to look and sees you, because, you know, dragon senses. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, um, immedi immediately sort of go on the knee. To give you an yeah. idea of scale, um, she's not as big as Prison Tower because that's a mile tall. But if she was, I mean, she, she'd probably get quarter of the way up it. <laughs> like, that's a... to, yeah, end to end mm. if you stretch her out. Hmm. I'm, 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 I think my whole day has been a succession of ever, of, of women of ever greater size. <laughs> um, <laughs> has, has been the sum of my day. <laughs> yeah, and Kukwai is just frozen, a, stunned. A few steps towards you and then gives a, a couple of beats of her wing very, very fast. Uh, to just scurry along the or, or up the mountain to where you are, and as she gets closer, she changes into a human form. You observe the transformation, but you can't ever put that into words or ever imagine it again later in your life should you live through this encounter. You'll dream of it for years to come, but you still can't work out how her form changed mm. should you live. And um, in her human form, she's dressed. She has red, dreadlocked hair. She's about five foot five, with piercing green eyes. She's not that big or imposing at all. Slightly freckled, pale skin. Her eyes are kind of draw you in a little bit as you look at them. And her mouth is kind of open and shut. You mind it all. I can smell. You've been in the heart of the mountain. We've, we've just climbed, climbed out. We, we, we were lost. Yeah, we, 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 we took a wrong turn looking, in, looking looking for my sister. The heart of the mountain. Heart of the mountain? I had that scene closed off so no further expedition found it. Um, you, 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 you Why may... Why you mining that scene? Uh, uh, uh we, we weren't, my queen, we, we were... I was looking for my sister. She was last seen in that vicinity. My sister is a guest in my palace, has been since she discovered the heart of the mountain. Well, it wasn't closed off. It, 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 we just walked past it. It was just there. We, we kind of looked in. What and... were you doing mining that you killed the mountain? Uh, we, we we didn't mine anything. No, we 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 were just 
there and and, and it and, all went molten and ran away and and there was more came and we just followed it. Do you understand what you've done? No. Not in the slightest. I suppose I could I just... explain how a mountain is a living thing, how its Told gold you. is a byproduct of its life, and by killing it, you've erupted the gold out of it, and it is now dead, and I can't put the gold back in to bring it back to life. The supply of gold in Moraine is now limited to the gold that's draped over the side of the mountain. I think I'll let you live, because oh. you'll live long enough for the gold to run out. But here's the thing. You are never leaving this city. Okay. You're going to come with me. And okay. Stay. Oh, I have just the place. At the top of the prison tower. It'll be the first place I unleash my rage when the gold is gone. <laughs> We can't kill a mountain. We, 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 it, it, it was still alive when we left. It was alive when your sister left. I'll hear no more from you. You will live for as long as this city does. That's as good as anyone can hope for. Okay. And she changes back into dragon form. Grabs you. Tosses you on top of the tower as she flies past it and settles back down in her palace. Well, it's true. That could have went better. <laughs> um, How did we kill a mountain? <laughs> um, Unintentionally. I, I, I believe the phrase I'm looking for is oh, bugger. Um, so that popping and crashing and rumbling, that was the main top blowing off the mountain, was it? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, when you sunk your pickaxes into the heart from inside and gave it a heart attack. Ah. Yeah. We were pretty much in a <clears throat> rock and a hard place kind of situation okay. there, weren't we? It's a one shot. It's a one shot. Off, I don't so. mind. Well, there can't be many people that have killed a mountain. Even in an RPG game. <laughs> it's quite high CR, really, because of all the hit points. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, we did it. <laughs> Bloody hell. You also, as a consequence of your action, doomed an entire city of a million people to die. Yeah, but, you know... Well, if you're going to get it wrong, get it wrong big. Get, get it wrong in <laughs> style. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that was really good. Enjoyed if you're that. Gonna, if you're going to screw up, really screw up. Well, I don't. I didn't give him many options. Once we're in the heart, we're pretty stuffed, really. Yeah. Um, you're always going to go in the heart. As as regards to the system, I know we're not playing. You're really not playing it. Your your system, but we're, we're playing a kind of. Um. No, I am going to use the word because it's just proper use of it, bastardization um, of it. Um, but if it's negative, one... I need to stop the recording. You know that, right? <laughs> no, the, the the one thing I did like, which oh, wait, I like, one thing I did like, <laughs> one thing I did. Like. No, I mean, it was a taster, and as you say. The one thing I did like, and and um, I think it's 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 an interesting idea, and I, I really like it. Is um, this notion that that rather than having everyone test, you, they nominate one person and they do mm. the test. I like that because it cuts out a lot of the, cuts the crap. Uh, right. Everyone's rolling for that. I think the only thing that might happen with 
some groups of gamers, and it will come down to individual gamers, is that a GM may find themselves um, stuck with analysis paralysis as the uh, as the players actually argue who's going to take the test. In practice, um, it doesn't actually happen that much because what we couldn't do here with dice, but you can do with the cards, is you've got a limited hand size. Mm. And this game actually really accurately controls, well, so accurately, really efficiently controls spotlight time. Because until the GM runs out of cards, you just get the six cards. And you're playing three at a time. Mm. And you, you draw from the deck. Like if you've got skill three, you, you add three from the deck to help with a given action from your skill. But you're playing, always taking out your hands, three cards. So you get two actions until the GM changes their hand. Right. And what you generally find is that if people have got good cards, they want to make an action. If they've got bad cards, they'll take a back seat for a moment. Um, <coughs> or they'll discuss it as a team and very quickly it'll be, well, I've got a good hand, I can take it, okay. Or, yeah, I've got an okay hand and some skills, so I'll do it. And mm. it, that bit resolves very quickly. Yeah. Is it as quick as a dice roll is an interesting question because one of the feedbacks I had when playing the card game version of this is that it's a lot slower than rolling a dice because with the dice you just pick it up and roll it. So I did some tests. Because this tests exactly the same way every time, the process is the same, it actually works out about the same speed as players actually take to roll dice. Because if you've ever tried to get a player to roll a fucking dice, it takes <laughs> ages. <laughs> and it's surprising because the action's very quick, but the yeah. process actually takes oh, a while. Oh, yeah. Dice, which one am I going to use this time? Yeah. How many am I using? Yeah. All of that discussion oh, over yeah. Whereas yeah. this is the same process. Um, you, know, you, you can add your skill. Lucky I hate I hate to make the comparison, but given it's the on given it's the only real car based system that I know inside and out, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna compare. Um, the thing that I've found, and all all the players who have played Falkenstein have found, is yes, it's it's different from dice, and sometimes they take a session to get get their head off of dice and into the cards mm -hmm. but what they've found is they have more control mm -hmm. over a oh, situation yeah. um, a lot more and the thing is there's so much more you can do with cards that you can't do with dice for a start you've got two pertinent bits of information you've got a suit and a value yeah. and <coughs> you can write things on the card Yeah. Right? yeah and this card actually has two suits and there, are, I've got cards with four suits. Uh, there's one. Ta -da! So uh, this this is actually fire, earth, air, and water, and it's a ten. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of information you can put on a card that you just can't do on a dice because it's just a number. And the other thing is, this ranges from zero to ten, but it's actually a d six. It's just a heavily, or it's a d ten or a d eleven that's really heavily weighted. Most of the time it's one to six but sometimes you get those exceptional actions where you get a high value card look I just pulled six cards out nothing above six let's mm. pull out another six I have a zero and everything else is under six I'm going to pull out six more and would you believe it I've just had an amazing crit I've got the eight the seven and the zero high effect of earth and air but um, I've just had a great hand but most of the time it was a six so it's kind of like a d6 system but, but it card. has exceptions yeah. built in it oh, has I think uh, as I say I think um, uh, when players when you're introducing players to it uh, who are uh, regular role players with sort of standard games um, I think it will take them a session. Brand new players will just take to it mm. immediately because then <coughs> there's nothing to compare it to mm. in their head. 
whereas people who have been brought up on D and D, Pathfinder, Savage Worlds, you know, all these other games, um, will take a session because people will. They will compare and contrast between cards and dice, yeah. and they got to get their head off one out, head, head out of one space and into the other. Yeah, I mean, I, I like it. Card I'll... games. I can explain this, the the game mechanic behind this game, which we haven't done today, but I can explain it in about three five minutes. Mm. If they're not into card games, then I, you know, take a little longer. Um, and they they'll pick it up in play type thing. Most people will pick it up in play. Yeah. Um, and you know that that's fair enough. But it doesn't take long. It's quite a simple system. But it I is. Have to say, there was, I've I've had a couple of people just not click. Um, You'll get that with everything, though, won't you? You will. It's 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 inevitable. Um, I mean. I must admit, when when you had done videos before and you'd been talking about it before, I was listening to some of the concepts and I'm like, I've got it. I'm someone who has to see it in play, usually, to really get a grasp of it. Having seen, okay, kind of cut down version with dice, but getting some of the concepts at least across, even with using the dice, you were getting some of the concepts across, I'm like, Ah, that's how it's going to work. Yeah, I like that. That's nice mm. and smooth, actually. Um, it works really well. So, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I would be quite happy. And, you know, I'd, I'd said before I'd playtest it anyway. But, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be up for playtesting it. No problem. Yeah, I, mean, um, I like it. I've written the damn thing. But the problem yeah. is because the backgrounds are so detailed to, so that you can create these complex characters so quickly. It's taking me a long time to write it. I have yeah. been making progress. Well, character creation was very quick. It is. It is. That's. Um, and it's I not, think we did two characters with full families and job histories, and then did a one shot. Yeah. Yeah. And it's still yeah. only caught to eleven. Yeah. yeah. And, your, and your your abilities aren't the main thing, is it? it, it it's it's all background. Hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, you get a load of skills. Yeah, you do, but it didn't take that long to pick the skills. No, and I no, think because I did away with all the the pointless maths. I mean, with a D and D character sheet, for example, you get your stats, then you've got to calculate your bonuses, and you, when you get your proficiency bonus. That's easily enough, but then you've got to add your proficiency bonuses to some of your bonuses, mm. and uh, you know, all these this stuff you have to do. And so, what's the fucking point of that? You got a number to start with. Why don't you just get the number you want? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's um, yeah. what I found what what I found with um, Falkenstein is, um, and I'm sorry for comparing, but it's the card game I know. Um, what I found with that is, and it's similar here, um, because of the elegance of the system uh, and the simplicity of it. Um, after uh, after about an hour you stop thinking about the mechanics and you're tr concentrating on your character and enjoying the role playing because you're not really thinking about the mechanics because it really the mechanics aren't getting in the way the big problem I sometimes have with D&D &D, and particularly the OGL mm. is that they are so mechanics heavy even Savage Worlds to an extent mm -hmm. is quite can be mechanics heavy but um I give Savage Worlds a huge amount of um, leeway because it's fucking wonderful. Um, we do a combat here, but and, and combat is really where all that complexity comes in. Although D and D manages to make skill rolls, both a limited number of skills and complicated to work out. So you take your stat, you work out what your stat bonus is. You may or may not add a proficiency bonus. Yeah. You know and stuff. But anyway. That I, uh, Just but I mean, I mean, I enjoy. I, I, <clears throat> don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm enjoying the the D and D play, game we're playing. Mm. But as I've said to Jason, I think I've said it on here actually. As I've said to Jason, um, I'm enjoying it because of the characters that that I'm playing. The characters that the other, mm. you know, mm. you guys are playing. Um, 
the interaction that we're all having um that's why i'm enjoying it it's not D D that's making me enjoy it well it's not even in a sort of, sort of coast or raven or any other kind of D D setting is made as you know yes, yeah which is truly unique yeah. you know it's 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 that campaign setting it's not the rules system that i'm going yeah i'm playing a D D game i'm you know i'm playing a game that's using D D. um if the the you know if that sound if you understand the 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 difference between the two, mm. um, you know, it's the fact that I'm playing with you guys and I'm enjoying that characters and the camaraderie and the interplay between the three of us, um, and there's a lot of humour in that as well. That that happens, and I think it's natural humour. Um, you know, you, you, you get moments where Riser will say something, and I'm just sitting <laughs> there going, "I've just got to." Just, 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 just get her. Just take her off. Take her off the high horse for just a second. Um, but it's great, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. But I, I mean, I played the first season of of the Clockwork Opera, as it was called, in the first season. Yeah, yeah. And it was really amazing. And the second season, I, I've been thoroughly enjoying it. But as we both, well, as three of us even well know. Jason's been really ill all the last month. Yes. Believe me, I know more yeah. than most. <laughs> um, the setting's brilliant, though. The setting's genius. The setting, the setting's great. Jason's mm-hmm. put a lot of work in it, and uh, I'm enjoying it. He's um, he's you pulled know, out he all the stops on it. Setting. I'm going to make his. <laughs> but um, uh, I was talking to somebody. We, we were playing Dragon Age on Sunday. Uh, one of my, my regular players is actually running. It's his first time that he's actually running a full scenario rather than just a little one shot, which is all he's done before. He's actually running, I, I think it's the, the intro scenario from the book. Um, and Dragon Age is a good... Um, Dragon Age is a, 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 is a good system. Um, and... I'm enjoying playing it, and what it made me realise was um, with the game that we're playing, it's not D and D. I was talking to someone, they said, "Why haven't you got D and D?" And I'm like, "I don't need it. I've got all these other systems." And it made me realise if we were playing Jason's campaign using Dragon Age or Savage Worlds or you know GURPS or you know whatever, to me it would still be the same game. Not if it's GURPS. Because you'd have to have a spreadsheet open. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. And Role Master with table for everything. Um, although I still do have Space Master at the moment. Although I've never, I don't use it, it's apart from plundering. It? Yeah, plunder, plunder it for the background. Mm. Um, just adds, you know, use another system for it. Um, but. It made me realise it's 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 the campaign setting, it's the players, it's the GM we have. Um, it's not D and D. You know, as I said, you know D and D is amazing. I'm like, it's not special enough. Why have you not bought it? Because I'm not prepared to spend over a hundred quid on a fucking system that I don't need. Um, and. You, yeah, you're not getting monetized now. You need mine, um, <laughs> hmm? You need mine, though. Definitely. I'll be really interested in playing the card game, though, because it's, 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 it seems like a nice game. And yeah. Without the, but without the cards, it's very hard to judge, even though the, the dice system seems to work quite well, because that yeah, dice roll awesome. is really... No, but it's really quick and easy. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, okay. that, that, that as a dice alternative, it was, was very good. It was yeah, fun. It, 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 card game is you have to remember I'm a card player. I mm. play poker, I play French tarot, I used to play bridge. So I've used elements from all these different games, sort of taken the essence of them and put them into the game. And then, just to cap it off, in the back of the book I'm actually putting rules to play variants of those games with these cards. Alright. <laughs> and I've made my own card game in there as well, based on the one that's yeah. used in the RPG. So you're not um, just doing one game then? <laughs> no, no. Well, to be honest, that only comes about three or four pages. 
Oh, okay. So, you know, but it's, it's just like a cool little thing, because they are unusual cards. And actually, I, I can't speak for Castle Falkenstein because I've not played it. I did play a game called Faith, which was card-based. And it's kind of where I got the inspiration for doing AFA from, because I was playing this Faith game, and it was terrible. But it used cards. And the problem it had, it was the same one that Falkenstein has, in that a standard card is a D13. And D13's a shit. Uh, there's a lot of variation in it. The numbers get quite high, so if you're going to do any adding up, there's too much, so you can't really do that. You know, and what is a royal anyway? It's Is it all D10? Who knows? Or no, 11. That's just strange. Um, you know, so... The, the number of range is kind of like the wrong range. Technically, Falkenstein's 1 to 15, but... Mm. Um, it's a weakness of the Faith game, in that, because you get, like, I think it's six cards or something, and, right, so, okay, I do this action, I succeed. I do this action, I succeed. I do this action, I succeed. Now, anything I do for the rest of this session is going to fail. And that was the problem I had with Faith. Uh, and I just thought, you need to recycle the cards. It's a missed opportunity, because mm. you know, with a card, you have the concept of a discard pile. So, you know, here you've got, you know, I've, I've got hand of six cards. Now, right, in my game, that's two actions. But that could be six actions I could do in a row. That's too many. So if each card was an action, make it down to three or mm. two. Because now I've got spotlight control. Because you can do that with cards and you can't do it with dice. Mm. So there's well, an actual solution to a problem at the gaming table. Yeah, I like the way you've done that. So you've got the timing down by with the cards. That's really good. Mm. Yeah, yeah ab ab absolutely. Because it's a problem <laughs> that happens at the table. And I've had players playing AFA who just fell into their natural patterns and went to do something. Go, oh, I haven't got any cards. What happens is this where you fail you automatically fail because it's somebody else's turn. Yeah, I mean, the, the only it other works. game I've got with a card-based system is Fortune's Fool, which I've not run yet. And I desperately want to run it because I want to give it a run out. Um, it uses a tarot deck. Mm -hmm. And it That's intrigues... even more problematical because depending on if it you're doing tarot, you've got 21 cards or Minji out 40. I, I can't remember what the full deck. It's 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 it's, it's you both the. Because you've got ninety-seven. No, sorry, that's been checked. You got seventy-eight cards. I think it's the full seventy-eight. So you got. Because he uses he uses he uses the lower and high. Uh, the major and minor arcana. Yeah, so you got the minor arcana fifty-two cards there. You got twenty-one cards of major arcana plus the full. Yeah. Um. So seventy-four card deck, not seventy-eight. Um, yeah. Four. Whatever, it's it's. Ninety-eight, I think, is an Aminciat deck. Yeah. The major arcana goes up to forty. Ouch. I do have one set of Aminciat cards. Um. What intrigued me about it, other than the fact that it was a tarot deck, which which I went, oh, interesting, There's different. A few games that have done that now. Um. Yeah. The the the. the the thing, the thing that really grabbed me was the fact that the GM never touches the deck, mm -hmm. Mm. which I kind of like. I, I like this idea that um, in a combat, um, when the player's attacking, they'll turn over the top card of the tarot, and that'll, you know, depending on the scale and what it is, mm -hmm. they'll decide whether or not they hit. Um, you know, there's a static score for for dodge or you know parry or whatever. Um, See, I actually saved a lot of rolls with that because what I have is a contest between... So you get two types of attack. You get, I'm attacking you, and you're doing something else, or we're attacking each other. So yeah. you're attacking each other, that's a mutual attack. And you just whoever gets the highest total is the one who hits. Just yeah. Because you're always playing against each other in this game. Mm. So you may as well just make it both sides are attacking and whoever wins. Mm. 
So it saves a load of time at the table, actually. Yeah. So, you know, again, if, if the NPC is attacking, um, the player he's attacking turns over the tarot to see, you know, adds it to their dodge to see whether That's they get out of the way. attack and defense, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a lost opportunity. But it's... it's it kind of it keeps it keeps the GM's hands completely off it. Mm. Mm. Um, GM never touches it, bar you know shuffling it at the start of the session and putting it down. Um, he never touches it. Uh, so you know if if the players kind of get the wrong card at the wrong time and completely screw up, then they can't blame the GM. <laughs> well, my advice when you GM running this system is to always play the cards to win. Because if you want the players to win, you shouldn't have made them play a hand. Like, there was a time I made you made a crime because there was a consequence of failure, and then yeah. the next time I said, no, you can't. Mm, so there yeah. was no consequence for failure. So, you know, and I, th I think a lot of GMs do that wrong because they think, you've got this skill, therefore you should roll with it. Yes. You should only roll it when there's a... Situation. Well, what you should do is roll the situation, not, not the, the fact that you've got the skill. Yeah. 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 Well, I can see this being very quick with cards. Yeah. And it'd be interesting to play the cards and, and get the get the full flavour of the game. There's there's faster ways to play with cards, I have to say. Like, as you say, drawing one card and I drew a one, I must have missed. But, um, but this, this, the way this plays is... It's an interesting kind of sub game in its own right, and it, you know, say, it really doesn't take long to learn. No, I mean, I, as I say, I got a, I got a feeling for it, even with the dice. I got a feeling for it. Um, you know, where, whereas before, when you'd been explaining it, it felt kind of abstract. Mm. Now, now I can, I, I sort of, I've got an idea of how it would work now, and I'm like. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, actually, yeah, I'd, I'd go. Mm. If I knew about this game, if this was out in the shops, I'd buy this. Because it's, to me, what I look for in a game now, if I'm going to buy it, um, it has to have that something, something different, especially if it's fantasy. Mm. It has to be that something a little different from... The tons of other shit that's out there, and the and, and the games that I have, it has yeah, to have something. Yeah. Or something like that. I, I don't get it. I yeah. Don't get yeah. It. Um, because like you know, just about every DM out there has got their own system. So why, when you go and release your own game world, would you then say, oh, this is for Savage Worlds or something? I, I suppose I do get it because people have got Savage Worlds and they know they can sell it, and it's cashing in. But then, as a consumer of that, you're literally agreeing to buy something that you know is just a cash in. Mm. There's that. I mean, I, I would love to see more system agnostic stuff come out. Um, I'm I'm all for it. In fact, I've I've already sort of said to myself, if I do start writing scenarios and and trying to get them published, I would do system agnostic, um, mostly because. Uh, most of the stuff I have, most fucking gamers don't have. So, um, <laughs> it's, you know, there's no point in me writing writing a horror game for cult. You know, I mean, if, the other three people who have it might buy the fucking thing, but right. other than that, they might not, you know. Well, if it's targeted marketing, you can expect a 2% conversion rate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, Ooh, I'd, I'd, 2%. Um, whereas if I write if I write a generic, um, that can you know system agnostic that can be applied to anything with a little bit of tweaking, um, then there's there's a greater pool mm. of possible uh, people who who might want to buy it. Um, yeah, but then do they hear about it? That's that's the other problem. It comes, you know, I suppose, it comes down to marketing, but. Sorry, I have to drop the cards again. This yeah. is the of cards. Um, my, they, they don't roll away like dice, though. My, um... Dice, you tend not to 
Wait, I suppose you do feel that. Uh, now all my cables are caught around the chair. God damn it. Okay. Um, yeah, no, when you drop them, because they, they're running... You, you, you're you dropping a lot more things than you are mm. dice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can easily run over them with a chair and damage them. It's like, no! Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, but, don't... Um, people that shuffle cards and bend them are done like that. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll admit, I'll admit that I've got a heck of a lot of. Um, I have been buying a heck of a lot of Savage World stuff, mm. uh, mostly because it's not the most in-depth system in the world. It's not going to make people crazy, you know, write really in-depth characters. But the little moniker on it is Fast Furious fun, and by God, does it fit it! It certainly is fast, yeah. It's so adaptable. Um, yes, after Forever After. I like the graphic. That is good, yeah. Bunch of the art on the cards are stunning as well. Yeah. Oh, I like it. There we go. I'll be next to Ronnie for now. <laughs> Ooh! Hello! Hi. Yeah. <clears throat> so... Right, you do you you do realise that that I'm looking at you, on my screen you are. You, you went the wrong you, way. You are my left. But yeah. See, I'm the pointing. Logo is is flippable, to the upside down it reads the same. Very good. That's why it looks the way it does. It's a nice logo though. Yeah. I like it. That's really good. An ideal for the back of the cards as well. <laughs> it is, but it's not what he used. So the problem is, you've got four or eight decks, depending on if you buy four or eight, um, and you want to be able to easily identify them. And the thing is that, and a lot of people get this wrong with game design, is you can't just change the colour um, because there's colour blind people in the world. So you have to do stuff like this where you got it is a different colour but it's a different pattern yeah. yeah so it helps them you know you, every time so the logo doesn't really work with that concept no but for the fact that so many people are colour blind it's around I think it's something like 7 to 8 percent of males and 1 to 2 percent of women or something like that are colour blind Right, I didn't realise it was that high. It's quite high. It averages out at about five percent. Mm. Uh, you know, when you you average it between just it is mostly men who get it, but not exclusively. I didn't know that either, actually. Yeah. Um, and interestingly, there's some women who are quad chromats, uh, who actually get to see essentially more colours than the rest of us. Um, more colour. That is nothing at all to do with role-playing games, so we should probably say goodbye um, <laughs> if we're going to start talking about quadchromats and quadchromacy and mm. stuff. Um, and also, Oi, folks. this heating's still on and this room's tiny and I'm really hot on this computer, so I'm going to turn off the broadcast stuff because it's hot. So, Bye! Thanks for Bye. watching the game I didn't need to broadcast. Bye! Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope we didn't swear too much. <laughs>